construct the ionic equation for the reaction in part B. Okay, part B over here, like I say just now, HCl will react with magnesium hydroxide. You will form a salt. Okay, let's recall what is a salt. Okay, salt is a what? Mister and a missus. Very good. The mister come from where? Your metal. Who is the metal here? Mg. What charge? Periodic table? Come, quickly tell me. Yes, 2 plus. I heard you. And missus come from your acid. Which acid am I using here? Hydrochloric. So it should be what? Chloride. Cl minus. Combine and you will get a good MgCl2 plus H2O. Come. Let's balance the equation, okay? Balance it, and I should put a chloride. There are two here. I should put a two here. Now, I have a water here, okay? I'm going to take some time to revise. Water made of two ions. What two ions? Which two? Yes, your H plus and your OH minus, okay? Now, acid gives you H. Hydroxide gives you OH. There are two sets, two sets. One water gives you one set, one set. One set of H, one set of OH. But here, over at this segment, I have two each. So what should I put? What should I do? I should just put a two in front. And I balance it. Now, ionic equation only ha happen in what? Aqueous, right? So you need to write down the state symbol. Why do I need to say that it's aqueous? Because under ionic equation, you need to cancel the same ions, okay? Now, you only cancel those that are in aqueous state, all right? So, who are the aqueous state? This one, this one, and this one here, okay? So, what do I do next? Let's oh, break it up. 2Cl minus Mg2 plus 2OH minus Mg2 plus and do Cl minus. Okay, who are the same? And let's do the cancelling now. Cl cancel, cancel, Mg cancel, cancel. Hey, I got back what? 2H plus plus 2OH minus to give you two sets of H2O. Okay, liquid, aqueous, and aqueous. Can you see something that's the same? The two, the two, and the two. So clean away the two, clean away the two, clean away the two. Voila, this is the equation. Now, there's actually a shortcut to this. I don't have to go through all this, okay? The reason why I go through, firstly, I want to recap ionic equation with all of you. Secondly, uh, I want to show you that this is what you mean by neutralization. But as you go on with more practices, as you watch more, you will notice one thing. What is the equation for neutralization? It's none other than this one. Watch. Eyes on me. This is the ionic equation for neutralization to take place. H plus plus OH minus to give you water. Standard equation, okay? So if the moment you read this and you know that, hey, it's a neutralization because the excess magnesium hydroxide would neutralize the acid in the stomach. Isn't that a neutralization process? It is, right? So obviously, isn't that the equation you're supposed to write? 